As we've said a lot, uh, we are all in this together, and so we're trying to connect you with as many uh, town and city leaders as we can to get updates directly from them. I know last week we checked in with Water Bay Mayor Near O'Leary and uh, asked him if he would come back and join us again for an update, and he's been uh, gracious enough to uh, do that for us again. Mayor, thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Uh, please uh, just give us a status update. What do we know about the uh, number of infections and deaths in the city? So I just got the good morning, Tim, and you know, good morning, everyone. I just got the numbers uh, this morning. A few minutes ago, uh, we're up to 343 infected individuals here in the city of Waterbury, uh, and the death toll has climbed to 13 as of just a few minutes ago. And, uh, yeah, that looks like a jump of about maybe 70 from overnight. So that's also an indication that we may be getting into the peak of this, although you said you're finally starting to see uh, testing ramping up. Uh, what is the overall mood now in your city, now that people have at least uh, been forced to get used to quarantining? Uh, are, are they starting to get more restless? What are the business owners saying? You know, uh, truthfully, uh, under the, uh, the strong direction from uh, Governor Lamont, uh, I think our residents are are fully aware that this is, in fact, a real crisis. These numbers reflect that. Um, I think the, the community has come together in an amazing way, quite frankly, taking care of those who are infected and their families, as well as supporting those who have lost folks uh, to the virus. Uh, it's amazing, I think, what's happening here in the city of Waterbury. Our manufacturers are still hopeful that we're near the peak and uh, they can get their employees uh, back to work soon. Everyone is trying to keep as positive as they can. Tim, as you know, this is a, a difficult time for everyone, but we all realize that, that we need to come together, stay together, work together, and we'll get through it. We sure do. Uh, I think, uh, Mayor, the name of the game, especially for people in Waterbury at this point, is going to be hospital capacity, uh, hoping that uh, Waterbury Hospital and St. Mary's don't get swamped. Ha are you getting routine updates from them as to how they're doing in terms of capacity, how saturated they are? Yeah, we sure are. We're, we're speaking with our hospital leadership uh, twice a day, uh, supporting them in every way possible. Um, we are not at capacity in either one of our hospitals, although we are seeing a surge uh, over the last uh, three to five days. No question, uh, there's been arrangements made to expand ICU uh, capacity in different uh, parts of each hospital. But right now, our leadership and the hospitals have um, taken things in stride. Of course, our nurses and our medical professions, uh, professionals are, are working an amazing uh, number of hours and shifts, and we're here to support them. Our post-university and University of Connecticut housing has become available for all the uh, medical workers and first responders. We're grateful for that. Folks don't have to go home to their families if they choose to stay in the dormitories. Yeah, that makes a big difference. Uh, what do you think about how the governor is handling uh, everything I, the crisis. I think the governor is doing an outstanding job, and I really mean that. His leadership from the very beginning of this has been amazing. Uh, I'm sure that that's a bipartisan feeling as well. And, uh, you know, quite frankly, uh, we're very fortunate to have him uh, at the helm at this particular point in time. His, uh, his leadership has been amazing, as I mentioned. But not only that, that his, of his staff, we are in daily communications with the governor and or his staff and the lieutenant governor, and we're grateful for that. That is, uh, that's good to see. Uh, one more question for you. Uh, I had mentioned this earlier. I, I've been noticing a shift in the past week or so in terms of what people are contacting us about. In the early stages of this, people wanted to know about the virus and how to keep themselves safe and keep their families safe. Now we're starting to see a shift for us towards people worried about their finances, worried about unemployment, worried about what are they going to do with their businesses, especially restaurant owners. Are you noticing a bit of the shift in, in, in your communications with the people of Waterbury to start worrying more about economic problems? No, there's no question, uh, particularly our restaurant owners here in the city of Waterbury, and we're grateful for the state of Connecticut's leadership on that as well. With these small business loans that are becoming available, the communication has been great through the DECD and Commissioner Lehman's folks, as well as Commissioner Cabell. You know, the matter, the truth of the matter is people are recognizing and understanding that this is a long-term solution uh, to this problem. It won't be a short-term solution, but the state has been uh, remarkably uh, amazing in that area as well, providing relief to the, and cycle of both the financial relief, but mostly psychological relief, too, not only to the restaurant owners, but to their employees, Tim, and that's what's important here. 
So at the end of the day, there is a shift toward those folks who are worried about the financial aspects of this, and will continue to do so as the weeks go by. Uh, any last words for anybody watching right now from Waterbury that you want to pass along to them directly? We're here. Our 311 center has been open since March 11th. We've, we've serviced over 1,800 uh, folks who have called in so far. 311, anything uh, anyone in Waterbury needs, we're here to bring groceries, pharmaceuticals, or provide any other services available. People of Waterbury know, should know that we're uh, working 24-7 to make sure our people are, are being very well taken care of.